Hello, welcome to the second part of the tutorial. And today we're going to be creating the bomb explosion, and it's going to be using a for statement. And I'll show it all in this tutorial. So first, we're going to need an explosion sprite. So we're just going to make some explosion that we get. What I'm going to use is a gradient, and we're going to do the same exact thing later shown. So first, we create the object. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do what I did in the bomb sprite. We're going to create four different images, all with a different size. So it's going to go smaller to big, and big to small. And I'll fast forward through that. Now, in the object's explosion, I'm going to create the variable image speed to 0.5, so it's not that fast. And then in the object bomb, we're going to delete the explosion that we had before. Notice the two variables, global variable heat and heat equals 4 and the create event for Bomberman. Now we go to the object bomb and we want to go to some code. First what we're going to do is instance create an object bomb, I mean an object explosion relative to where the bomb location was. Next what we're going to do is we're going to initialize a variable. So we're going to make after this for statement. We're going to have for i equals zero. Uh, there we go. We need a bracket and we need a variable i and we're going to make also z. So what we're going to do is a for statement now. So what a for statement is, it's, it'll repeat until we make it what it is basically. So like until i equals a certain value it'll keep using this function. So for i equals zero i is less than heat, which is that variable, times 32, and then i equals plus 32. So what we're doing is we're checking for the heat. The variable heat means how long the chain of fire the explosion is going to go. Then we're going to do if place free is x plus z plus i, and then we're going to have z equal 32. So we're going to do 32 and then y. So this will basically check when i is 0, which means heat be 0, it would be just 32 to the right, then when you create it. But when i is 1, it would be 64 to the right. So we're going to see how far the chain goes. So next, we're going to do else break. What this means is if the place isn't free at that location, it ends it. Now we have to copy this four times, because if you the break will end everything else that's in the code if there's anything else below it. So we just need to make more for statements. And I'm just switching the positives and negatives and for the y coordinate. So we have that. Now let's test this quickly. So you see that it worked perfectly. So now we'll go and we're going to go create an object wall. What we're going to do is we're just going to basically test this wall. So then we're going to test the explosion if So now we just put in a spray for the explosion so we can see where it's at. Now we will test. You can see it stops there, but I didn't have the drawn relative, so I need to make it relative quick. There we go, we can see it stops. I can just delete that. Now we will go in the end step for Bomberman. And we'll have We'll test it to see when it collides, if it dies. Now we need to create a spray, and I'll fast forward through fast of him dying. You can see just six images. I have this from my spreadsheet. I'm going to edit it quickly so then they're all centered. Okay, now after that, we'll make a variable called die equal to zero. Now when you collide with an explosion, Die is going to equal 1. And then we're going to have it draw the sprite when you're colliding with it. So in the step event, 
first we want to put die equals zero so this way the sprites don't override each other and you can't move when you're dead we're going to also put this in the end step so then you don't have any sprite when you're standing still Oops. here we go now we're going to have it so then the variable also for creating a bomb we have to put this in basically everything to make sure that you can't still move or do any actions now we want to create the sprite with him dying at a speed of about a half. Then in the animation and the vent, what we want to do is he dies. If die, or if the sprite index, well actually we'll just use the variable die. So this means when he gets hit, then we'll have it destroy itself. Now let's test this. And this will include the video. And I'll probably create rooms next time and the monsters. So, goodbye.